What's up, man? There he be. How are you? I am feeling pretty good today. How about yourself? Jolly. <laughs> it's a very good use of very a descriptive Christ word. Merry Christmassy term. <laughs> Merry Christmas, right? Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Bella. I got a new book. Did well, you? Are you excited to read it? Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. We had a great time with the family this morning at the house and then uh, decided to come out to the home farm and, and make a sit. We've, we've had some good luck on Christmas Day over the years and we're hoping today is a, a repeat of that. We're back down in the bottom plot where my wife, uh, Catherine, got ham bone a few nights ago. We've sat the last two nights up on the top uh, back plot where we've taken so many deer over the years but uh, didn't have any luck so we're back down here Primary target's Big Mac. The second most likely deer that we're gonna encounter down here is the buck we call Anna's buck. And we call it that because Anna found his sheds two years ago. And uh, we had encounters with him right here last year. He's not been as active on the farm this year, but every time we do get pictures of him, it's down in this food plot. And so we're hoping, um, he's a six and a half year old deer and Big Mac's a seven and a half year old deer. So lots of history with him and be really happy to get either one of them down. This food plot is uh, corn. We've got a west wind, straight west, and it's gonna be switching to a little southwest as the night ends. Uh, so it'll be a little marginal there right at last light. If the deer come off the hill back behind us, most of them don't, but it's about 15 degrees right now, actual temperature, and with the wind, it was negative one when we pulled up in the truck. So it's quite a bit warmer than it has been uh, the last few days, but it's still nice and cold. And the pressure's actually decreasing. We have a snowstorm coming in. We're supposed to get one to three inches tonight. A lot of times that first south wind after a string of norths is pretty good. We'll see. We also have this front, you know, the barometric pressure's dropping and this front's moving in. So there's lots of things that could get the deer up on their feet to feed. There were a couple deer in the food plot when we got here. And we actually had a, a lot of deer in the food plot this morning. And I mean, there was six or seven antlers deer at 1230, one o'clock. So deer have been on their feet all day.
is a blind. Good afternoon. It's Monday, December 26th. We've got Bella back out at the home farm. Little sister and a cat came to hang out with us and hunt and wish Bella good luck. We're back in the back plot. It's a little bit warmer today. We got a we got fresh snow last night. The wind switched out of the south just for 12 hours. Now it's back out of the north northwest, and um, it's about two degrees with the wind which there's not a whole lot of wind, but that is the real feel. Actual air temperature is around 16, but um, we've got a few bucks we're after. The main one's Big Mac. He actually came out, you know, last night we hunted the bottom plot, and he came out at the cherry tree. We went back and forth sitting at the cherry tree last night, but uh, ended up going to the bottom plot because I thought that, that would be the best spot for him and Anna's buck, and this drop tie in eight that reminds me of Tex. You know, we... Um, We've only got two pictures of this deer this year, both of them from the side, but it's like a, a bigger framed eight with a big drop tine, and it just reminds me of Tex a lot. I don't know if it's him or not. I haven't got a good enough look at the deer to know, but he uh, he seems like he's a mature enough deer to be on the hit list. Anyway, all the deer came out in the beans last night. I normally find that, you know, the corn is more attractive to the deer when it's super, super cold. But last night it seemed to be the opposite. A lot of the deer, we probably had six or seven of the bucks up on that bean plot. And we still saw 30 deer last night, it just was mostly does and fawns. Anyway, this is the wind we have right now, sets so up best for this back plot. And Big Mac, I believe he's just bedding here in the central timber, and so he could pop out at any, any of the three food plots any night. Um, this wind will be switching out of the south the next few days, so it will give us an opportunity to get up to the cherry tree and hunt that spot. There's a there's a heavy eight that um, Bella named Marty that's been coming out at this plot as well. He's been he was at the cherry tree last night with Big Mac, but um, he's one that we've actually seen at this plot and could get a shot at. So it's about three o'clock. We've got a little over two hours to go. Our first uh, deer just came into the food plot. What do you think, Anna? I don't know. Um, I like bird watching. You like bird watching? Are you hoping Bella can get herself a buck today? Yeah. Yeah.
Well, that's a wrap. How many nights in a row is that for you, sitting? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Too many to count. Four nights in a row, right? Too many. Overall, it was a fairly slow night. I'm not sure what was going on. Um, and we had a couple of groups of deer come in, and they would something would spook, and they would run back in. And so we never really filled up with deer. Um, but that right at the end there, we had one of our nice. He's he's I think he's a four year old. He, he could be five, but right at the last few seconds of legal shooting, and uh, we basically ran out of um, legal shooting uh, light and and camera light. Um, it's, it's a really nice buck. It's just a nice frame 10. He was a nine point last year that had a broken G3. We saw him a few times. Really cool to see that deer. Um, you know, last night we sat the bottom plot and saw one broken up mature buck and two nights in this blind prior to that, we've seen some, some older ones, um, just not the ones we're looking for. And so we're gonna stick after him. I've got to work the rest of this week. So Tuesday through Friday, I'll be working, but we were talking in the blind. Bella may come out with Rye, or uh, maybe with Grandpa and Rye, or Mom and Rye, or it'd be nice. We have some south winds, which would let us go sit at the uh, cherry tree, which is where Big Mac's been coming out usually when he's in daylight. So, another enjoyable night. What do you think, Anna? Uh, I think it was fun, and I thought like our four ones do it, and this is the only one that. It is the first time you came this year. It I'm glad you came. Really fun. Yeah. Well, uh, we still have quite a bit of slight season left, so we're gonna hopefully catch up with some of these bucks before it's all over with. We'll keep bringing it to you.